All right, runner number one, bam! Runner number two, double chainsaw! That's what I always wanted in life. Oh, my items! Hello, everybody, Grace Place, and we're back with more undead development, the land of the apocalypse, where our imagination is what keeps us alive. I looked at your guys' requests, and it looks like people wanted shotguns. Super happy about that, because I want the shotguns too. Also, I had a couple people saying they want the Molotov cocktail. So you know what we're gonna do? Let's get, let's check this out. Oh, and someone else wanted like to see what these top ones were. So this is like extras. Like these aren't new weapons and stuff like that. It just gets you more stuff. So for instance, like this increases the effects of loot one and loot two. And this just says, increases the potential of the loot count from the boxes. And then over here we have more ammo. We have defenses. Uh, we got more traps, durability, and then care packages, which is kind of cool. But that all comes after the flamethrower. And I'm not going to lie. The flamethrower seems absolutely incredible. Now, to be fair, we can get the flamethrower pretty quick over here. Uh, we need to go through shotguns and then the revolver. And then from that line alone, we would be able to get the flamethrower, which would be freaking cool. We have that chainsaw now. Beaver be with us. But... It's freaking shotgun time. Now, a little birdie told me, a little undead birdie, told me that this level of shotguns is like one of the most OP weapons in the game and should help us big time in winning. Where do we want to go? Uh, I, the sewers is like, it's cool, but it's so dingy. Like, I like the old home or the fresh town. The only problem with the fresh town is the house is so small that you feel like, you feel like really enclosed. So I think we might do forest today. The only problem with forest is, is that we are completely required to build all of our structure. Like we have nothing to protect us, but I guess that's a good thing. Someone was saying like, great, why don't you attach the items to your body? I don't think that we can nail the items to our body. I've never really tried. Uh, I guess we can give it a look. Welcome to the forest, where we legitimately have fun in games. I don't care about your bases. Well, actually, I do care about your bases, but I know how it works. All right, we got 10 minutes, as we do, to grab as much crap as humanly possible, uh, but we don't have a base yet. So, oh, Chase, all right, up the are you kidding? Like, did I spawn on top of this? How could this be? Oh, I forgot. I don't even have to blow out my back by leaning down. This thing is so huge, though. It's like, how, the how do you carry this on your tool belt? The thing's like the size, the same size we are. Let's find a base real quick about where we want to. There's a base right over here. There's actually a base over here in the corner. I've never had the corner base. So let's go grab this one real quick. It's right next to all these trailers and stuff. Never had this base. So we're going to go ahead and grab this base over here. Delicious water bottles for us. I also saw a grenade over here, which is fine. We can go ahead and, I mean, I'm, I'm collecting it from two feet away. Anyway. Let's hit up the trailer park and see what we can find real quick. Oh, you know what? Hold on. There's no reason to have this on us right now. Wow. What a throw. Out here by this busted up vehicle. I don't know if this is like an SUV or something like that. Got a couple of extra grenades over here. I see some more ammo laying up on top. Is that another grenade? Oh, and a bear trap. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, hold on now. Is there anything inside the refrigerator besides warm beer? It's like the worst thing in the universe. You boys know warm beer. Can you close this? It'd be cool if you could close that, but I guess we can't. Little pond over there. We can check that out in a little bit. Definitely want to... Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This is our brand new shotgun. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. Is it all 10 rounds? Okay. I may keep that on us just for now. Holy crap, though. So we're going to have to see. Oh, get get in there. We're going to have to see how well that performs against the zombie horde. Let me go ahead and dual wield some of these blocks over here and get them back to our base. Man, we're finding some loot out here, man. I almost feel like you get more loot in the, uh, in the harder boards. Like boards like this where you're not really protected on all sides. I feel like there's a little bit more loot out here. Is there any yep, look at this. Right over here. Oh, we're putting that on the shotgun. You boys know. Now, I think there's a ladder over here that we can go up. Sometimes there's stuff on top of these cars, too. We should be able to go up this ladder. Yep, look at that. We're right... Oh. All right, more ammo. A lot of ammo. A lot of ammo. 
More ammo over here. Let's go ahead and drop down. Man, I want two of those shotguns. Is that a mallet? Oh, look at the sledgehammer. Perfect. Perfect. You know what we haven't gotten any of? Like little pistols and stuff like that. Ooh, more shotgun ammo. I'll take that all day. But, like, I could be missing them too. That's totally possible. Like, my perception, you guys know. <laughs> My perception is like, you could be mostly blind and still do better than- Oh, hi there, wood. Oh, uh, we got some long wood right over here. We also have a scumbag that's rolling up. So let's try our shotgun out. Works pretty good. We got the old double barrel shotgun over here. This thing's old news, though. That's like, like, that's the original recipe. But now we're dealing with, you know, the- the- 12 or 11 or 16 herbs and spices or whatever have you extra crispy. That's what we're dealing with now No more original recipe, baby extra crispies right here got that special seasoning on there for us. Oh Oh, we got it We did it. I was gonna say oh hold on. I'm gonna put this right on my oh, yeah Oh, we're gonna dual wield the OP shotguns. I really think it's kind of overkill I'm not gonna lie, I have found so much gear, like, just weapons, and sniper rifles, and shotguns, I haven't found two, um, chainsaws yet, I do want to eventually dual wield chainsaws, which we haven't been able to do, but, I mean, like, wood pieces, and ammo, like, we are freaking set beyond, what's going on there, oh, it's appearing, I was like, did I just see something teleport in? But it's our it's our items flying down on the ground. Let's go over here. We don't have a lot of time left. I think we got like 20 seconds. Um, we can what is this? Is this a shotgun levitating through the ground? It was. That was a little odd, but whatever. Another shotgun over here. I have so many shotguns. I don't know what to do with all these shotguns. Again, the first round is always like pretty slow for the most part. So, I'm trying to think about, like, what I want to do for our defenses. I think some of the things that we should think about is putting posts down. But, hold on, because the zombies are going to come toward the posts. Get my glowing hammer of prowess. Because the zombies are going to go for the posts. Let's get them getting injured while they try and get those posts down. Now, we're going to have slow zombies over here right now. So, over the shoulder, shotgun blast. No big deal. Hold on, let's go ahead and aim on up over here. Bam! I wonder how good the range is on this. Pretty good! Did we just shoot a packet of freaking stumps out of that guy? <laughs> now, remember, the first wave, like I said, very simple. I mean, there's really not much to it. So, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and, like, blow through this. And then we'll come back. Alright, wave one's done. We're gonna be coming on to wave two in a second here. I found our care package. Let's find out. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. Dual wielding chainsaws. <laughs> yes. Oh. Just when you thought it couldn't get any more obscene. We are going to be dual wielding freaking chainsaws. I'm not gonna lie. I almost want to. I don't want to do it. The last time we did it, both our shotgun and our chainsaws vanished into thin air. I was thinking about uh, attaching the chainsaws to the shotguns. But it's probably better that we attach some sort of bladed instrument. Or just some sort of, some sort of, like these over here, or like the sledgehammers or something like that. Alright. We're doing it. Dual wielding chainsaws, boys. Woo! This is, this is what it's like to be a freaking X-Men. What are you doing over there? Really? Really with the deforestation? Come on, man. Come on, boys. Everyone bring it in. This is only round two. So I don't feel bad about getting a little bit cocky. I've got like a, a hunting knife over there. We got a bear trap hanging out on that post. And then we have a, a cleaver over on that post. So we're decently protected from this side. Decently. We got a runner. We got a couple runners. Uh-oh. Got a couple runners in here. All right, runner number one. Bam! Runner number two. Double chainsaw. That's what I always wanted in life. Oh, my items. You dirty scumbags. Here we go. Yeah. 
Probably used up a little bit too much, uh, a little bit too much ammo there, but it's all in good fun, man. D using the double chainsaws, there's no economy in ammunition when we do this. It's all about the ridiculousness. It's all about the lulls. As a matter of fact, hold on. Now, I'm not that good with my right hand when it comes to sniping. But I do okay. Look at that! Go one was right into my pole. Regardless. Alright, you know what? Fine. You oh, he died. He died from the weapon. Fantastic. Over here, more scumbags starting to come into the camp. There we go. A little bit for you, good sir. We got one over here. There we have it. Runners rolling up on us. I think I'm gonna go from bottom to top. There we go. All that's left is a torso. Yeah. Whoa! We took a we took a hit there? How? The guy didn't even have any arms left! I mean, I guess he could have bit us. But look at him take down my seats and everything! You freaking scumbags! Alright. There we go. So the way basically to use the chainsaws is to only go for like the skull. Right like that. If you do that. Oh, there we go. Three in a row! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Getting hidden on me. Yeah. The chainsaws are nice. But getting super close like this usually ends up getting you caught on something or put in a bad position, it looks like. And I'm also a psycho. So, I mean, I take all kinds of chances that I'm not supposed to be taking over here. Just shove it right up in there. It's kind of like a haircut. Only by haircut, I mean I'm going to decapitate you. So, there we go. A little crew cut for you, good sir. Stop hitting my item right there. And there we go. Chainsaws did it. We've got a little bit left. We actually have a lot more uh, fuel on this one than we do on the other one. All right, let's get our care package, get our stuff, see if I can put down some more posts, and then we're going to start freaking dual wielding those shotguns. All right, here's our package. Let's see what's inside. Really nothing that impressive. We got an ore and then two of these things. The last one had another chainsaw, man. What kind of rip-off job is this? All right. Party time, boys. Party time. Oh, we got to reset our, uh, we got to reset our trap. Let, I got to punch my green screen real quick. Let, there we go. So just conserving a little bit of ammo here. As much, I was going to say as much as possible so that when it's time to go nuts, you can see that runner over there rolling in on us. We got one more scumbag over there one shot he's coming up behind us all right go ahead and put this down pick this up go ahead and take this runner out before he gets too close i don't want to have to deal with someone quite so fast now i noticed that the range of these shotguns is way better than most other shotguns like that was a double headshot from that range that's pretty good the double barrel does not hit that far at all i'm Pretty sure. I mean, I'm 99% sure. You can see the spread, too. The spread is decent. Let's keep moving around over here. Oh, I totally missed. There we go. Uh, we got another runner that's coming in over on... Never mind. He's going to go ahead and attack that tree for whatever reason. There we go. We got a death right over there with our knife. This guy is going to get stuck on our post. Excellent. Line him up nice and easy for a headshot. I don't know if we could get him from there. Now... Oh, hold on. Clear, the... Clear these guys out. One guy over there. Got a runner. Runner right over there. Another dude behind this tree. Let's go ahead and teleportate ourselves right over here. Take that scumbag down. Another dude lining up on our post. Two more. That's the double shot right there. One dude's walking right in the middle of the camp. No way. An ore pops out from his... Wow. Hi there, flying ore. Bam. Bam. We just blew right through one guy into the guy behind him. That was freaking awesome. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Double up. Right over here. Here we go. Yeah, the shots on this are super fast. We just took down that whole tree and then took that guy's body out. That was awesome. Double shotgun. Uh, 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 uh. Use up a little bit of ammo just for the fun of it. I know. We should, we should really be conserving the ammo. But every once in a while, you boys know you got... Whoa. All right. You got to have a little bit of fun. Did that? Oh, it's a chest. It's like a chest. 
What do we get out of that? More ammo? All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Put this away. Actually, you know what? Let's put this away. Grab this. I'm a little bit better with my left hand. So right over here, we can squeeze that trigger. What in the world is going on over there? I was a zombie, like, slowly trying to get through all the trees. Got a body shot there. There we go. Wave three complete. We did it. We got another bear trap over there, which I'm pretty happy about. How many rounds do we have left? 57 rounds left on our, our freaking kick-ass shotgun over here. Maybe we can get some more ammo or something? Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Dual shotgun ammo. The freaking gods shine upon us. And we had a little bit more ammo over here. Not like we're using that kind of ammo, but it's fine. We got the brand new bear trap over here. Let's go ahead and load this thing up on one of our posts as we do. We'll put it, um, I think we're going to go ahead and put this one right over here. That should be an insta-death. I think it's high enough. You got to watch out because you want to get the head or the torso all in one shot. Load this one up. There we go. All right, I want to get at least one plank over here. Just so that, just so that we have something defending us in this direction. Let's go ahead and nail this in. There we go. That one nailed in nice and straight. Well, not straight for the item, but like straight out. So I don't think, can I get another nail in? I guess I can. All right, we do wield shotguns for a bit. We need to use some of our rifle ammo though. So that's what we're going to do over here. I've got a lot of rifle ammo, like 406 rounds or something like that. So let's go ahead and use a little bit of it. Now, I'm not sure how well... Pretty good. I was going to say, I'm not sure how well the aim is on the AK. But it looks like it's pretty strong. We also need to... Look at those guys spawning out of the ground. What's with that BS? Right over here. We got a... We got a nice, fresh green screen that needs a beating. There we go. I think this guy is, is looking for a shotgun blast. Right to the chicklets. Got another dude rolling up on us over there. Let's take that guy down. And then you can have a shotgun blast. Let's go ahead and teleport over here so that we can turn this way. And, oh yeah, this should be a double. Right here. Double shot. Ah, close, but no cigar. All right. Still going. Strong. No big deal. No runners around us. Looking good, looking good. This dude should get obliterated. The distance is very good, actually. If you line up, not like that at all. If you line up, you can pretty much get a one-shot headshot most of the time. Uh, sometimes I'm just kind of like hip shooting, but the AK is definitely my rifle of choice compared to the regular assault rifle so far. There's like all kinds of different pans and stuff that are sitting around over there. There we go. Let's, wow, all right, now we're starting to get a little bit of a horde over here. One for you. There we are. And right in the middle of the city over here, all kinds of freaking zombies are rolling up. Oh, he's getting killed by our uh, our gut or um, our knife over there. Fantastic. Oh, he took down one of our ramparts. Uh oh, bam, bam. Anything behind us? All right, we're clear. Move this way. One for you. Mow him down. Oh, those were all headshots. Double. I was hoping for the double headshot, but we couldn't get it. Mow him down, boys. There it is. Uh oh, almost didn't load back up. Look at the trees going flying. All right, over the shoulder, over here. Couple more headshots. One for you. Couple for you. Oh, the double beady, the double beady headshot. I love it. Move over here to kind of line them up. And eh, they're not really in a line. One for you. One for you. Just popping some heads. Popping some heads like it's no big deal. Like giant undead zits. That's what we're doing right now. Stop hitting my friggin' wood. Anything behind me? Nah, it's looking fine. Take that guy out. R Whoa, what, what was that? Like I did like an unintentional teleport or something like that. All right, aim up real good. Ugh, that's the double headshot that we're looking for. How much ammo do we have left on this? 271. So realistically, the sniper rifle for this type of, of usage is probably better because you can get definite kills with the sniper rifle. All right, let's continue to move on here, though. All right, we got our drop box way in the distance over here, trying to grab it. The other thing about this area is the drop box ends up going way further away than a lot of the other ones. We got a couple of melee weapons over here, although nothing that we can use um, on our boards, on our uh, on our barricades that we're making. 
It looks like only bladed instruments for that. All right. I'm gonna do it. Oh, 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 okay. I'm gonna do it. Here we freaking go, boys. Here we go. I just gotta make sure I'm not holding it whenever I press the pause button, I guess. Oh my god. Oh yes. Oh yes. Now how much ammo does this one have? I think this one has uh, less ammo. Hold on, let me go ahead and transfer it over here. Less ammo in the chainsaw. Now can I shoot this? Alright, yep. I can use the saw and fire this, which is pretty good. So, let's pick up this rifle. There we are. All right, let's the fighting begin. All right, no big deal so far. Just some easy headshots and stuff like that as slow zombies begin rolling in. We still have a lot of shotgun shells too. Boom, goes the dynamite. You boys know boom, boom. I love the sound. Uh, uh. Now the only problem is reloading it is kind of a pain in the ass because of how long the, uh, the freaking uh, whoa! Holy crap, I was gonna say, the chainsaw makes it. The chainsaw also gives some weird tracking errors. I almost want to take it off. Because it's actually a little bit more annoying than you think. But, I mean, so... Was that one of the chainsaws we already had? Or did that pop out of someone? Or, I don't know what that was. A little toot for over there. Couple of guys over here rolling up. We'll take those guys down. That dude over there is blasting my friggin' posts. You go down. You two, right there, headshots. Oh, we got a whole group coming in. A whole group coming in. Uh, now you can blow up that grenade. If I can hit it, there it is. Whoa! Oh no, we died. Now what happened to my chainsaw? The chainsaw goes catapulting through the sky. Ah, all right. But, we're gonna get big points here. There we go, two more of those points, which means that, hold on now, how much does this cost? Three points. Which means that we can get Molotov cocktails, if we want. Um, we can also eventually get new tactical rifles. We need a little bit more uh, money for that. But, you guys were saying you wanted the Molotov cocktail, so I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that real quick. And then nothing else for a well, telescope? We don't really need that right now. And then that is all we can afford at this time. Let's, um, you guys wanted to see the Molotov cocktails in action. Let's see if we can get one just to use it real fast. All right, now there does appear. Okay. That wasn't supposed to be what happened. Oh, wow, the fire is insane. Okay. I'm pretty sure that wasn't that I'm sure pretty sure that wasn't supposed to happen. All right. We got a Molotov cocktail. This is all we need. Start the wave. I don't have time for other crap. I want to know how this Molotov cocktail works. Now, clearly, if you press the trigger button, all hell breaks loose. So, let's wait for a little bit until we do that. But I also don't know like if you just drop it. Okay, good. I was going to say if you just drop it, nothing happens, right? But it looks like if it's already on fire, it causes the other grenades to explode. Okay. One lone zombie over there. Here we go. Light it up. And throw it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a raging inferno. Now, are you going to get caught up in the fire, I wonder? Eh, it doesn't last that long. Like, it was pretty good. And it's obviously, like, super useful. If I don't even think we have any ammo. Never mind. We totally have ammo. I was going to say, I don't think that it's... Super useful. Well, it is useful because we don't take damage from our own explosives. So, it can be pretty sweet. And it'll get us stuff like uh, timed explosives and stuff like that too. Which I think would be pretty cool. Anyway, guys. What do you think we should unlock next? Do we go straight for the flamethrower? In that case, we need the pistol. And then I think we can get the flamethrower. Do we go up the explosive tree a little bit more? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.